Hello, welcome to another Cracking the Box video here on Model Shipwrights. My name is Todd, and I have a really nice kit to show you today. It's Bronco's new uh, USS Fort Worth LCS-3. Uh, she's a beauty, modern ship. Uh, scale is 1 350th, and uh, I can hear the things jingling around inside, so why don't we rip off the top of the box and find out what's in there. Okay, here we go. The USS Fort Worth. Now I took the liberty of removing the plastic from the sprue and everything so that we can save a little time here. I'm going to pull the hull out and we'll take a look at that. Uh, let me start by saying that the uh, USS Fort Worth is a Freedom Class LCS, which is a literal combat ship, and uh, which means that it's, it's for uh, close to shore operations. She's got a shallow draft to the hull. which means she can get in and get out, uh, deploy assault teams through the various, uh, we have a, a rear, there's going to be a rear um, hangar bay door that opens up and it can launch uh, assault crash uh, boats and different things like that. Uh, same with one on the side and uh, and it has a full flight deck as well well not a full but a, f a flight deck for helicopters and UAVs sorry so let's get into the hull here um, it's a two-piece hull you could do this as a waterline I know it's a little hard to see because I'm just gonna lay it flat but uh, it has a it has a waterline design it actually has the bottom piece that goes on the full hull and this would normally be like this because this is the watertight section and this would be the cargo section so they actually have a really nice fit. I had these together a second ago. Uh, very little cleanup. Not a lot of flash. It's in excellent condition. And almost the perfect size for shipbuilding, actually. <laughs> I like some bigger ones, but this is pretty nice. Okay, moving on. We have Sprue A. Um, on this on this uh, spur tree, these two parts are not used in the kit. You can convert this ship to the LCS-1, which is the USS Freedom. Um, the kit does not support that in the decals. So, I mean, unless you have another way or you can order decals or paint them on yourself, um, these won't actually work for this, but you do have the option if you wanted to. But we have the uh, bow section of the decking. The front deck here. We have some watertight doors. This is for the uh, the hangar bay off the back and the stern, and then these are for the sides. There's a couple on the sides where they can launch the crash boats out of. And then we have uh, neat little details if we can get close enough here. That is a ram, which is a rolling airframe missile system. Uh, it's it's a fairly nice detail that'll sit up on the top of the superstructure and then these are just various parts that fit onto the superstructure and gives it that modern neo-angle look <laughs> there's the sprue A next up we'll have sprue B now these are the uh, most of the superstructure parts, a lot of radar, a lot of weather equipment. Um, you can see the radar antenna. antenna. The yard arm, more or less, it's a it'll be off the mast. And this is the utmost top part of the ship. We have finials here. This is for the base, so the ship sits on these. It's nice that these are all one piece molded all the way around and there's no seam lines either so just you can just paint them any color you want and it's perfect so again then uh, great detail in these next up is sprue C there is actually two of these in the kit I'm gonna move one off to the side here and there's various cleats and the bits that you, they tie off the ship with on these and there's a ton of them there's a lot on this and we have the propulsion system 
which is a, is a water jet system. And there's some really, really excellent detail on that. I'm trying to get a good shot. I have them on the stills for the video. And there's two of these, obviously, off the back. And then we have, right here, one of the crash boats. There's two of those, because we can depict that hull section as open, and you can see inside the hangar bay. So when you're done, if you wanted to, I'll grab the hull for a second, you could put the, um, the boats right in here on either side and be able to see through when you display your model, which is pretty neat. So there we have it. Two of Sprucey. Okay, next out of the box, we have three of these, which is Spru D. And these are the little UAV helicopters, the unmanned helicopters, their reconnaissance or even attack. And you can have these displayed out on the deck. You could put them in a hangar bay if you wanted to. Um, they have the blades that in the photo etching that are actually folded back so you can um, have them stowed away. So again, this is nice. There's three of them. Next up we have two clear styrene sprue. And this is F. And there's two of them. Uh, these are the Seahawks that the LCS-3 carries. Pretty heavy duty helicopter. And again, these can be, you can have one out on the flight deck ready to go with the propellers out. Um, the other one, you can have the blades retracted and in the hangar bay for storage. Either way, it's a, these are nice details to add to a, any build. There you go, two Seahawks. Next up, we have two G sprues. Uh, they're both the same, and they have the blades and the parts for the helicopters. These would be for the, um, the Seahawks, and this would be for the, the unmanned unit. So again, that's the plastic option of the propellers for the helicopters. Next tree is going to be H. Now this is the actual flight deck. We saw on the first sprue I had, sprue A, flight deck was a little shorter for the LCS-1. And this is the one for the LCS-3. You can see all the raise marks. There's actually all the tie-down circles have the little cleat inside of it, which is neat. That is, it's really molded well. This would be the watertight door at the rear, um, the stern section. I'll grab the hull again. And that would sit off there. And of course you could see inside if you wanted to keep the doors open. And so there we have it. The flight deck and the rear access. I'm going to jump back to E, which is a clear sprue, and these would be the windows. Uh, this would be the windows to the bridge, and then where the flight ops go off the back, um, this actually would sit at the back of the superstructure. And that's where the uh, tower control would be for landing all the helicopters. Well, the last piece of plastic that we have for the, mo for the model itself is the superstructure. Now this is a highly detailed section. We have the bridge. That would be the windows where the clear sprue was going. It's molded, it's hatchways, and ladder work. Be obviously for the funnels. Um, this would be one of the the side hangar bay doors. 
You can see all the raised details and indented details. This would be the hangar bay for the helicopters. The flight deck would be off the back here. And that is where I was talking about the flight control clear sprue. They would be in there for the flight ops. Now these are, I've noticed that, that this piece, because and it's in the kit, it came wrapped in a foam sheet. Um, actually I have it right here. This is, and it was wrapped up in that because it's a delicate nature. This is a little bit thinner on some areas, especially on these points and in the back, so you want to make sure you're real careful with it. Um, same with the hull, which I'll pick up again. The hull section right here is really thin, and these, um, I actually snapped this already, but it's a, it's a quick fix with just a little bit of glue, and once the deck's on, it actually would bond even better because it, it'll, it'll run right across, but you just want to take special care. They make it that thin, I, I believe, because, you know, when you're looking in there, it's actually more true to scale um, than having this wide chunk like it is here on the sides. Uh, it just it just looks a lot better in scale. So if we get back to here, we have the same thing right along back here and the two points on the front, I mean the back and the front. And there's a good bow shot right there. So that would be the superstructure part. Uh, next out of the box, I grabbed the simple black base. Black styrene. Uh, there's an indentation for a nameplate on the side. These cutouts are for the two finials that I pointed out on, the, um, on one of the sprues there. They fit right in there and the ship will sit right up on top. So the base. Next out of the box, carefully, we have the photo etching. Contains a number of parts. You'll see a, a better view of them on the stills as we go through this. We have the nameplate of the ship. That fits on the um, the base that we showed you in the in the uh, the opening in that uh, cutout section, not cutout, but recess section. We have the blades for the UAVs. We have them deployed and uh, retracted, so if you want them in the hangar bay, you'd, you'd, you'd store them like that so the blades weren't hanging out. And the same for the Seahawk. We have, the, we have one set that's, um, that's retracted, and then we have these blades here that you would put on as being uh, fully deployed, ready to go. There's radar antenna in here. Um, some, there's a ladder. Some railing work. Um, this would be the railing cage work type um, protective flight deck railing. It folds down when they have flight ops and then folds up after they're done so nobody walks off the edge of the deck. So then we have a nice sheet of photo etching. Next out of the box we have the decal sheet. And this is the entire flight deck with the white line. And you could paint it or you could use the uh, slide off decals here. These are the decals for the helicopters and you would might want to cut those out before you try to take this giant one out because they're actually inside of it and that wouldn't be a, that would be a mess. <laughs> uh, we have the ship's name Fort Worth, which would be right on the stern, and then the ship's numbers, which is three, and it would be on the port and starboard side of the bow, which would be the big number, and then on the back uh, to the stern in the aft section, there would be one on each side as well. So the decals. Okay, uh, before we get to the instructions, um, this was in the bottom of the box. It's a just a printout of the box art of the USS Fort Worth, which is kind of neat. It's a little poster you can hang up in your workspace while you're working on it, give you a little inspiration. There you go. Nice little poster. Okay, let's move on to the instructions. Um, standard format for Bronco. Uh, nice booklet format. Everything's clearly printed, um, color as well. 
You can see here on the parts legend, the parts that you're not supposed to use have been grayed out. And the photo etch is in gold here. It's also pretty nice because it's an alternative color than some of the other instructions that you see with other kits. All of the photo etching is still in gold so that you know where it's going when you're supposed to apply it and whatnot. Um, they give the various options of the ship. You can have the hangar doors open, like I said. On the back you could do the two different versions if you really wanted to of the ship. And then one of the more important parts of the ship would be the superstructure and you can tell here because it actually spans over two and a half pages almost three if you count the page before this um, all the parts in this kit the majority of them go on that superstructure these would be I get close enough here those would be the windshield wipers for the bridge and those are all photo etching and the railings we have the gun mounts we have the missile launcher here in the back, the ram system, a detailed mast, um, these are smoke cannons, again this is for close combat to the shore so a good smoke screen while you're picking up the, the assault team would certainly help. Here they show how the helicopters can be uh, stored, stowed away inside the hangar bay before you put the superstructure together. We have the construction of the Seahawks and the UAVs. And mounting the ship. And then the color schemes. That would be the Seahawk, that navy gray, sea gray. And the color schemes for the ship itself and she is a beauty she's got some nice lines so there you have it my uh, review of Bronco models USS Fort Worth LCS 3 she's a beautiful ship you gotta love these modern ones uh, they have some great lines to them uh, it's a great kit there's a lot of detail in here um, not a high part count to the kit uh, there is a lot of photo etching and a lot of tiny parts but with a lot of patience time and effort Anybody should be able to build this up into a beautiful display model, especially if you love these modern ones. So with that, I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of Cracking the Box here on Model Shiprights. And I hope to see you soon with another kit review. Thanks.